6.43 this morning, and this is really the calm before the storm. There's no severe weather out there right now. It's mainly just some lingering showers, but boy, this afternoon, evening, overnight, it's going to be a much different story. Check out this map. Look at all the places that have a chance of seeing damaging wind, hail, even some tornadoes. And particularly what I want to highlight is the area from southern Kansas to as far south as San Antonio. That area of orange, uh, very concerned about threat for damaging wind and hail in there. And again, the possibility of tornadoes. But notice, though, even in this shade of green, there's an outside chance of seeing severe weather. We're not even in that shade of green. It gets no farther south than Laredo and Corpus Christi. We're not even included in that because there's no chance of severe weather for us. We are going to see the possibility of some thunderstorms tonight, but not the kind of storms that produce damaging wind and hail. Now, I think that's a very different story once you get towards San Antonio and on north. But again, uh, the, your exact location makes all the difference in here in the valley. We're lucky once again. Now this morning, there's a chance for a few showers, but that's it. Just some isolated showers during the morning. A slightly better chance in Cameron and Willacy County. Uh, it's going to be a cloudy start to the day, but as we go through the day, I think the clouds will actually be breaking up. Now, I don't think they'll break up as much as we saw yesterday. There'll probably be a little bit more cloud cover in general today. I think most of the day will be mostly cloudy, but by late afternoon, early evening, I think there'll be a period of partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a windy, humid day, and we're going to see temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. Now, there next rain chance is very late tonight. We're talking three, four o'clock in the morning when showers and yes, some storms could return. I think the activity will peak around 6 a.m. early tomorrow morning. Maybe as you're waking up with us tomorrow morning, we'll be tracking a rough line of showers and storms, though there could be some that miss out. This model actually says that by 8 a.m. we're dry. There could still be a few lingering showers near the coast, but drier air is going to come pouring in here. And probably by about 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're going to have mostly sunny skies. So it's a quick shot of rain as that front works over us, and then it's back to dry weather. And tomorrow, the humidity will be dropping as we go through the day. It's going to be humid all day today, though, so 89 and humid. Keep that in mind, making it feel a little bit warmer. But it's going to be another windy day. We'll have gusts around 30 miles per hour. Most of the day will be mostly cloudy. There is a chance for some isolated showers uh, during the morning hours, but the afternoon looks dry. The evening hours will also be dry tonight. Again, the chance for some showers and storms doesn't come back until very late tonight. We're talking well after midnight, so if you have evening plans tonight, do not cancel them. It's going to be a mostly cloudy and breezy night, and temperatures will reach around 68. Finally, early tomorrow morning, once those winds shift as the front gets in here. Now looking ahead to the long holiday weekend, the good news is it is looking completely dry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now the nicest day, I think it's going to be Friday because it's going to be bright sunny skies. It's going to be in the mid 50s Friday morning, but upper 80s in the afternoon. It's going to be warm in the afternoon, low humidity all day long. Now Saturday's not going to be too bad either. We're still going to have comfortable humidity. It's going to be mostly sunny and we're going to hit around 89. Now, one thing I should mention though, Saturday and Sunday are going to be windy and the humidity is going to start coming back for Easter Sunday. Won't be feeling quite as comfortable as Friday, but it still looks dry for Easter Sunday. In fact, as we look at your first one five AccuWeather forecast, there's not another chance of rain after tomorrow morning until Tuesday. We're going to get four dry days with the cloud cover gradually increasing, the humidity gradually coming back. And so that 91 on Monday, yeah, not going to be feeling too comfortable because the humidity will be back in full force. One more news coming up right after the break.